Raising a litter of kittens is a thrilling adventure, but it also comes with a lot of responsibilities. You must keep a watch out for fading kitten syndrome in addition to ensuring that the tiny fluff balls are secure, warm, and nourished. Neonatal death is referred to as fading kitten syndrome. The first week of life is the most dangerous for kittens, accounting for 70 to 90% of all fatalities. According to estimates, stillbirths account for 8.5% of all births, with 16% dying before weaning. A very attentive caretaker may be alert to the indications of FKS, increasing the kitten's chances of survival. Low birth weight kittens, kittens with congenital defects, and kittens that are poor nurses, are at a higher risk for FKS. People who rescue and foster pregnant cats and or foster kittens should take time to learn to spot the signs of FKS as the offspring of stray and feral cats are particularly prone to this condition. Since FKS is so common, many people involved in feline rescue advocate for spaying rescued pregnant cats. Fading kitten syndrome is not a disease, but rather a collection of signs that develop in neonatal kittens. It has many underlying causes and leads to rapidly declining health. Unfortunately, one of the very first signs is the unexplained death of a very young kitten. Because of this, FKS has been compared to sudden infant death syndrome in human babies. Causes of fading kitten syndrome. Fading kitten syndrome can occur for a variety of reasons, including environmental factors, congenital defects, parasites, bacterial or viral infections, and even human error in hand raising kittens, says Ellen Carraza a licensed veterinary technician and a fading kitten expert from Novacat Clinic in Arlington, Virginia. Due to the immaturity of a neonatal kitten's body and immune system, even seemingly small factors can trigger a domino effect. For instance, what might start as a small bout of diarrhea can quickly result in dehydration and hypothermia, causing vital bodily functions to fail. Any number of factors can trigger fading kitten syndrome, but the important thing is to recognize the symptoms and to intervene immediately. Belly button infections, omphalophlebitis. A common diagnosis for kittens with the syndrome is inflammation of the belly button, Demo says. Bacteria travel up from the place where the umbilical cord was chewed apart by the mother cat or cut during a C-section. Genetic issues. Some kittens may have genetic problems, says Demos. They can survive in their mother's uterus but once born, they have difficulty thriving on their own. For example, a cat born with a heart condition could lead to fading kitten syndrome. Neonatal isoerythrolysis. Neonatal isoerythrolysis is a condition that occurs when a mother cat and kitten have different blood types, and is more common in pedigree cats. The antibodies in the mother's milk will attack the kitten's red blood cells, Demo says. In this situation, the kitten starts off healthy. Then within a few days or a week, the kitten's health will start to go downhill. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Symptoms of fading kitten syndrome. Early signs that a kitten is fading may include lethargy, lack of interest in nursing, sleeping separately from the litter, and whining caregivers may notice that the kitten's skin is less elastic, which is a symptom of dehydration. The kitten's face may start to look gaunt and triangular if it is not getting adequate nutrition. There are some indications that a kitten may be at risk for developing fading kitten syndrome. The signs to watch for include Extremely low birth weight, kittens that develop FKS are often the smallest of the litter. They have a low birth weight and are not as active as their litter mates. Inability to nurse properly, healthy kittens nurse almost immediately after birth. A fading kitten is often not strong enough to grasp and suckle the mother cat's nipple. During the first 72 hours or so of nursing after birth, healthy kittens that are nursing well receive special milk called colostrum. This colostrum provides essential nutrients and antibodies. Colostrum gives the kitten passive immunity, allowing them to grow and thrive until they can receive vaccinations and stop nursing. If a kitten fails to nurse and needs to be bottle fed, it will not receive colostrum and is more likely to develop FKS. Abandonment, mother cats sense when there is a weak kitten and may abandon it in favor of her other kittens. This is an instinctual reaction designed to protect the healthier kittens. Hypothermia, low body temperature, since newborn kittens can't regulate their own body temperature, they depend on their mom for warmth. Therefore, abandoned kittens or kittens that do wander away from mom, rapidly develop hypothermia. Hypothermic kittens are lethargic. Its mouth and gums will be a bluish shade rather than a healthy pink. This can rapidly be fatal unless human intervention occurs. Treatment options. Treating fading kittens in a veterinary clinic can be frustrating for both providers and clients. But Carraza and the team at Nova are saving neonatal kittens on a regular basis. 
Her advice to other veterinary professionals? Don't be afraid to treat the little guys and think outside of the box with their care, she says. Sometimes the issue causing the fading is easier than you think, you just need the right diagnostics, cat medications, and blood products. Fading kitten treatment should address both the cause of the fading and any secondary symptoms. Through an examination and diagnostic testing, a vet can determine any treatable illness such as respiratory infections or internal parasites, and can prescribe appropriate therapies. However, fading kittens typically also have secondary symptoms, such as dehydration or hypoglycemia, that must be addressed through supportive care. In some cases, a kitten's condition may be too advanced. Some kittens may not survive no matter what you do, says Caraza. Late signs of fading kitten syndrome may include symptoms such as abnormal breathing, extreme lethargy, neck arching, or odd vocalizations. If these symptoms are present, a veterinary professional should determine if it is likely that the kitten can be saved. In advanced cases, euthanasia may be the most humane solution. Through early intervention, caregivers can hopefully avoid this scenario. Consult a veterinarian right away if you notice any abnormal signs in a newborn kitten, especially lethargy, lack of nursing, and or difficulty breathing. The kitten will be examined and tested for any infections or parasites. The vet will prescribe a course of action to treat any infection, prevent hypothermia, malnutrition, and dehydration. In the unfortunate event that the kitten does not survive, Kitten rescuers can help fading kittens. Those who frequently care for neonatal kittens, such as kitten foster parents and rescuers, will benefit from learning advanced kitten care skills that can save a fading kitten. Tube feeding, for instance, may save the life of a fading kitten who is unable to suckle or swallow. Subcutaneous fluid therapy, when carefully dosed by an experienced caregiver, can help provide essential hydration to keep a kitten's body functioning. Proper administration of iron, vitamin B12, or dextrose can also help some kittens bounce back. Each of these life-saving skills should be learned and administered under the supervision of an experienced veterinary professional, as every kitten situation will be different and will require specific treatment tailored to their needs. The most important thing for caregivers to know is that fading kitten syndrome does not have to be a death sentence. By acting quickly, understanding the symptoms, and working with the right veterinary team, the chance of survival goes up exponentially, explains Caraza. The biggest killer to these little guys is waiting. Caregivers can give kittens the best chance by planning ahead. By learning advanced care skills, knowing the early signs, monitoring kittens carefully, establishing a good relationship with a veterinarian, and creating an action plan ahead of time, caregivers can lay the groundwork for a high chance of survival. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.